what's up guys Mark here from VIP shop management today I want to talk about uh, square terminal uh, so when you uh, do a transaction through square terminal and you go log into squareup.com uh, to view your transactions there uh, we just added a reference so to know that this transaction is for this invoice uh, I'm gonna show you right now how that works just um, select the customer real quick And uh, just say and uh, authorize pay invoice. We're just gonna make a dollar since it's just a test card. I'm gonna pay with my phone, just touch, simple as that. Approved, no thanks, all set. All right, so. Obviously, if we click on payments right here, we can see that this is was as an authorization and that's the last four digits. That's the beauty of Square, man. Is you, it'll does it'll do that for you automatically. Basically, like you're you're so organized automatically, so you can see that the last four digit right there it was a visa and authorization number. All right, so let's go back to Square dashboard. If we go to transactions right here. Let's see if it's gonna view it already or yeah it's right there so you can see at 9 at 9 22 a.m. invoice number is 12441 if we go back here invoice number sorry invoice number is 12441 I think that's really cool as a reference so if you if you log in here sometimes you need to know which one or if you're trying to do a refund, I mean, you can do, like I said, you can do a refund through VIP, but if you want to do it from here, you could. At least you know which transaction for what. So I'm glad we were able to do so. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching.